Hey, hi, hello. I'm the Bad Luck Prince and welcome to a short video. Uh, this is going to be all about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, but mostly about the DLCs. Can I open this bigger? Tell me I can open this bigger. No, wait, hold on a second. Can I open you bigger? Um, not really, but kind of sorta. Okay, first off, I believe that them saying, where is it? Hold on, here we go. Here it is. So, as you can see, when in the season pass, we get 20 plus playable characters. I believe that as exciting as that sounds, it's not what we're thinking. I'm pretty sure I'm very late on this. I've been at work all day, so I couldn't exactly... When I got the idea, I was, I was too busy to even work on anything, but wasting time. So, it says that we get 20 plus playable characters in the first three DLCs included in the game's first season pass. Yes, but when you look through the top right, the pre-order bonus, we get Vegito, base Super Saiyan Blue. And we also get the three versions of Super Broly, and they are they are all deemed their own personal character, just like these. Every single character, the base versions, the Super Saiyan, the all the Okay, basically what I'm saying is even though it says 20 plus, it probably means four, maybe five characters. DLC. They already showed us like uh they showed us Delta 1 and 2. Is that or are those the names? Goodness, I watched that movie once. Either way, they showed us them, and we might get an install, like, you know, uh, a transformation. Maybe one? Maybe? I. Goodness, would they even transform? I don't know, but then they're gonna add the Gohan. Gohan's gonna go Super Saiyan, Gohan's gonna go Super Saiyan 2, maybe? Or, and he's gonna get his potential unleashed, and then he's gonna go, as we all know, Beast. We're gonna get Piccolo. We might get a Piccolo a transformation where he uh, basically throws his cloak off. That's already, what, seven characters? And then we're gonna get him orange. That's eight, if I'm counting right. I'm probably not. This isn't scripted. I'm just saying this as we're going along with this. <sighs> I will say one cool thing, though. The whole, um... Wait, no, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, here. Oh, yeah, it's here. Oh, yeah, I'm really not liking this new standard of pre-ordering a certain edition just to get it three days early. The game the game is out. Let's let everyone play it. Goodness gracious. Either way, this stuff right here, the, the fact that you can make your own missions, it seems like, and you can then put it online to upload for others to play, like your own scenarios, that sounds absolutely wonderful, if you ask me. That's one thing they're going with. But mm, this whole summon Shenron as DLC is locked lock behind a paywall. I really don't understand. Also, if you get the season pass, you get the characters three days early. I am... Mm, I mean, it's incentive. Yeah, but they already know people are going to get the game. So why... Of course people are going to buy the Ultimate Edition. Like, come on. I mean, I mean, it is really cool that Steam got smarter. They basically changed their stuff because people were like playing games like Suicide Squad and Hogwarts Legacy like three days early. Rush through the whole thing, beat everything, played how many ever hours, I mean, up to 72, and then they refund the game. But now Steam is like, yeah, if you play three hours before the game comes out, it's yours. You're keeping it. So, yeah, three days early access. I don't like it, but we'll find out. But yeah, so the, the main thing that I'm talking about is the fact that just, just because it says that we're going to get 20 plus characters doesn't mean we're getting... 20 plus characters. It means we're getting 20 plus characters, but in the sense of this, that you got Vegeta, 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 you know? You got Goku, 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 Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta. That, that's basically it. So every single character, because this made it clear to me, the pre-order bonus, getting these two characters that they basically split to become six, which makes me believe that in the game, we're going to be unlocking every transformation individually maybe it's like the old Nar naruto games where when you get a certain amount of zenny maybe that you just unlock a character so the more you play the more you unlock are there's going to be special conditions you have to fulfill like beating certain missions in certain times you know stuff like that or people are just going to have a code they're going to enter on the main menu and unlock everything they want <laughs> maybe but yeah that, that, that's basically what i wanted to say it's long story short 
20 plus characters doesn't actually mean 20 plus characters while well, it still does mean 20 plus characters if, if you get what i'm saying so i'm thinking we're gonna get five or six characters in total yeah, let me see there's three dlcs so we may get one two no not one of course not one i'm thinking two or three characters per dlc yeah all depending on which ones they choose they're gonna have a certain number of transformations so We'll find out. I mean, it says that they're based on Daima, which we haven't really seen yet. Is it going to be like a younger Goku and Vegeta? And I, di I didn't really see the trailer. They had to behind closed doors, but still. And then we're going to have, um, well, Cell Max and stuff like that. So that's going to be interesting because Cell Max wouldn't have like a base form where he's all tiny and boring, would he? But he will have that form when he has when he only has that one stabby hand. Probably. Either way, I am rambling. This video is going on too long. I am sorry for taking this long. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Please like the video if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. Please comment though. Commenting is very important. Either way, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. So all I can say is stay tuned for more Dragon Ball because this game is gonna be crazy, crazy, absolutely insane. All right, this has been the Bad Luck Prince signing out. Ciao for now.